Welcome to beautiful Zambia. This is a nation that's at the heart of Africa, but it's also a country that's at the core of our mission, health for all, hunger for none. That's because we're expanding our seed production capacity here to allow millions of smallholder farmers in Africa to grow more food. Lisa, tell us a little bit, how important is, is maize to, to Zambia and to the people here? Maize is our staple food and it's very important to us. We depend on shima, a product that comes from maize. The harvest here will be great because of the size of the corn. As a farmer, when I look at this, I'm just like smiling all the way because I know this is cash. That's great. And let's talk about the, the climate. I, I understand from last year, when there was a lack of rain, then people don't have enough food. It was a challenge. We had drought. Most of the maize in the field just dried up. How important are the seeds? Seeds are very important for a farmer. When I plant the open pollinated varieties, there's no uniformity in the field. You find that this, this cob is smaller, the other cob is bigger, so it becomes difficult for a farmer. How am I going to know my yield? So there's open pollinated yeah. uh, seed, and that's just seed that comes from the natural pollination in nature. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's hybrid seed, yes. where we bred uh, two different lines mm -hmm. of hybrid corn, and then we, we hand pollinate those. In my hand, you'll see a number of corn seeds, and they all look the same, and they're all gonna grow corn plants. But there are actually millions of differences in the DNA of these seeds that will potentially impact how well those plants perform in fields across the globe. We make use of hybrid seed technology to maximize the genetic potential of our corn. Hybrid corn seeds are developed through a precise genetic process where we examine the DNA of millions of seeds to identify the best parent lines, and then we cross them to create hybrids that combine the most desirable traits from both. This careful selection results in hybrid vigor, or heterosis, where the offspring outperform the parents in terms of yield, drought tolerance, and overall plant resilience. From a genetic perspective, it's like equipping farmers with seeds that have the best possible start, scientifically crafted to handle challenges and deliver results. Actually, I treasure the scientists because they are doing a great job. For me to have a good variety, a hybrid variety, properly defined with the growth, it gives me courage, it gives me that heart even to work hard. How long have you been farming with, with hybrid seeds? Over five years, I would say now. So from my experience, when I plant the open pollinated varieties, the crop is not defined. Before you started with hybrids, what, what kind of yield did you get? We're getting something like 500 kgs, but with these varieties, we are going up to, you can even go up to 10 tons, depending on the variety. As most small farmer, we reach five tons. So you've moved from basically growing mostly just maize and getting 500 kilos to 1,000 kilos per hectare. Now you're getting 5,000 to 10,000 10, per hectare. And, and you're able, basically, instead of just feeding your family, you, you can sell most of your crop. It has really changed my life and I look forward to the scientists to do more. What do you do with the money? I'm a farmer. My vision is to make sure that my farm expands. I need to grow my production. Thanks, Lisa. Thank you. Our new seed facility here represents an important milestone, not just for us at Team Bayer, but for the millions who go to bed hungry. Hearing firsthand from farmers about the devastation that droughts bring to their harvests and the struggle to access quality seeds, I'm reminded of the difference that we can make together. To all our partners, colleagues, and customers, thanks for all your hard work. Let's push forward our efforts Every seed we plant is a promise of hope and growth for millions.